Hello everyone and welcome back to Tesla Harmonics. Today I want to take a look at some time delay relays and the contacts that are associated with them. And for us to be able to do that, I've drawn us one three wire start stop circuit that is controlling a time on relay and then another start stop circuit that is controlling a time off delay relay. Okay, so the first one I want to look at is the time on relay and we'll do that right now. Okay everyone, so looking at our time on delay circuit, if I turn on the main power and I energize this time on delay coil, it will begin to count and after three seconds, it will change the contacts that are associated. And what we have here is a normally open time closed contact and we may see either version of this, but most likely on the job, we'll, we'll probably see this one. And what they look like in their normal state is this one is normally open, not making contact, and it has an arrow pointing up, that means it's gonna time to go up and close. So that's our time on delay. This, this means the same thing, except I show a normally open contact and I put a small TC by it for time close. It does the same thing when the, the coil that it's associated with is energized, that coil gets done counting. This one closes and goes on. This one closes and goes on the same way. So this is just a representation of how you might see it on a drawing, either this way or this way. Same thing when we look at it on the uh, time off the late side. And then if I'm using a, a contact on a, a, a timing coil, I can use a normally open and it times it closed like we just looked at, or I could use a normally closed and it would make it time open. So I can use an, an open contact on a time on delay and it, it delays timing on like you would expect, but I can also use a, a normally close and it would be energized at first while the timer is counting. And then when it's done counting, then it would go open. This could be something like a, a warning horn or a, a warning sign or something that goes off before a motor starts and goes on. So let's look at how those operate again. If we hit start and energize that, that coil, it counts one, two, three, closes the two open ones and turns on the green light, opens the two closed ones and turns off the red. Okay, so that's our time on delay. Okay, if we take a look at the contacts on our time off delay circuit, if we go to our time off delay circuit, when I, when I energize that time off delay coil, the two open contacts are going to immediately close because this one has the arrow pointing down. That means that it's gonna immediately go the other direction and time to go the direction of the arrow. If I look at this, it's gonna immediately close and turn on the green light. And then when I kill power to that coil, then it's gonna time before it drops out and turns off the green light. And remember this contact will do the same thing. This is just two representations of the exact same thing, same thing here. So with the, the again, the normally closed on the, on the time off delay, if I use those, then they're going to be passing power to whatever they're connected to. And when the timer gets done counting for this one to go off, then these will go back on. All right, let's look at how that operates. So if I hit start, immediately the green lights come on, immediately the red lights go off. And then if I hit stop, then it begins to count. And when it gets done counting, the green lights will go off because their contacts open. And the red lights will come back on because their contacts go back close. Okay, so time on, time delay coils and how different ways we can use the contacts on them. We wanted to look at this before we started doing time delay circuits. Our next circuit will be a three wire start stop with a, a three second on time delay. And we'll do that next. And I'll see you 